Hi, my name's Scott Steedley. This is me. Today I'm going to be your host as we travel through the manna in the meadow manor. inspiring actor as well. But more importantly, this man here has helped me over the past two years to build a dream, which is right behind me. And it's been a sole effort between he and I. Uh, without him, I couldn't have done it. And even though he's uh, full of shit, he's still a good guy. I'm sure he can say the same about me. So I'll let him do that now. That's your asshole. <laughs> yes, he is an asshole, but it has been a pleasure. He ain't so bad to work with. And if you're it, all balls down to it, he's a pretty nice guy in his own way. But I think he won't tell you his real name. His real name is Maxwell Steedley. But we call him Dit because he can't read a ruler. <laughs> and that's the way the story goes. <laughs> to this place as the Manna in the Meadow Manor. Uh, that's a name that I, that I made up um, from some of my life experience uh, in the past. But uh, Manna is something in the Bible. That it says, he who walks with God will possess the manna. And I feel like um, for the past six years when I've been landscaping and working out here, sweating, Bleeding. Uh, it's been a labor, but I felt like I've been walking with God out here. This is where I find my peace and serenity. Um, but anyway, this is my landscaping trailer before I changed my name. Now I am Steedly Naturescaping. Uh, the way it's spelled, it really is nature escaping. Escape to nature. Because that's what I do at every chance I get. Um, I want to take this opportunity to show you the vehicle. A 1963 Austin Healey convertible. This is the vehicle I'll be driving to California. Believe it or not, I'm going to get there. Needs a little work, but you know, it's only so much time in a day. But when I do get there, I'm going to be toting my faithful ironing board. They don't make them like this anymore. But the name of the game in California is looking good. And that's where this baby comes in. I won't look like this. I'll have all my clothes pressed, and you'll see me coming down the street. Well, you ready? Oh my god, there's a human head in here. Well, let's go, buddy. 
This area of the property is known as the totem pine, otherwise known as the tree of many faces. I often uh, sit back at the house there after a hard day's work and look at this tree and just, it takes me away by its complexity. The spirits that dwell within it. This is the, uh, the mother of all of these pines out here. And at one time I was gonna build a tree house about 60 feet up, but uh, after about 40 feet of nailing ladders, I started getting a little sketchy. And uh, especially when I slid down the middle of the tree. Um, it taught me a lesson in, in uh, height management. <laughs> This area behind me, uh, in the future, I hope to uh, fence all of this off and you know, have horses. Uh, my father has three horses and we're going to rotate them back and forth between my property and his property and uh, let them graze over here. But back here, behind me, uh, I'm going to give my mother and my stepfather a little piece of land so they can build a house. And uh, when they get older, I can reciprocate the favor they've done me and raising me by taking care of them and watching them as they get older. <laughs>